Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I am going to show you how to create a flamethrower VFX effect using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. So for this effect, I am going to need this flame effect that I found on internet. You can create one for your own or look for internet for the similar ones. So let's drag and drop it into your Unity editor. selecting this one and selecting alpha is transparent hit apply after that create a new effect and rename it to flame thrower underscore particle system okay now reset its transform after that maybe zoom a camera out a little bit okay after that set the max particle size to three now create a new material in the assets folder and rename it to fire underscore mat. In the shaders, go to legacy shader, particles, additive and drag and drop your this texture. After that, go to your frame floor and set the Y rotation to maybe 90. I need to zoom my camera a little bit more because it's flamethrower and it will go far ahead. Okay, we will adjust accordingly. Now, after that, set the duration to 3, start lifetime to 1.3, and speed to random between two constants that is 30 and 50. Okay start size to random between two constants that will be 8 and 10 and start color will be a bit of a light gray something like this now drag and drop this material here and you can see them now set the emission to 200 that looks amazing and set the shape to cone as it is already selected and the angle will be smaller it will be just four i have to zoom out the camera again okay after that set the angle to five five looks better and i was with Working with size 6 to 8. Okay, 6 to 10. Okay, so our radius will be 0 0.1. And color will be not the color, start color, but the color over lifetime. Here it will be like this. Add two keyframes here this one like this and this one like this okay and size size over lifetime will be a curve that will work like this select this curve and drag it a little bit above so that it starts big and that's it uncheck looping because it will only emit once Restart this and that's how your flamethrower works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly interesting videos. I will see you in a new video.